for most people, getting a second job won't raise any eyebrows, but an Atlanta police officer's side hustle was apparently attracting just way too much attention. We're talking about Officer Garrett Rolfe. He is no longer employed uh, with the Atlanta Botanical Garden. Rolfe, you recognize the name, is the officer who shot and killed Richard Brooks more than two years ago in the parking lot of a Wendy's restaurant in Atlanta. Atlanta News First reporter Adam Murphy went to the Botanical Gardens tonight to get answers from both sides. Officer Rolf's attorney told me this is a direct result of the irreversible damage to his client's professional reputation as a result of what happened back in 2020, making it very difficult for him to find and retain extra jobs like the one he had here at the Atlanta Botanical Garden. On Piedmont Avenue in Atlanta, Garden Lights is a holiday tradition for many. To keep visitors safe, the Atlanta Botanical Garden recently hired off-duty Atlanta police officer Garrett Rolfe to work security. But Rolfe claims he was later reassigned after a customer allegedly recognized him and complained. Put your hands your back. In 2020, Rolfe was charged with the shooting death of Rayshard Brooks during an attempted arrest at a Wendy's restaurant. He was later exonerated after a court concluded he acted reasonably when using deadly force. And this year, he got his old job back. Rolfe's attorney issued this statement about what happened at the garden. Quote, the actions of the Atlanta Botanical Gardens, ABG, and the people who reportedly complained about the presence of Officer Garrett Rolfe at ABG demonstrate the profound, lasting, and irreversible damage done to his professional reputation as a result of his unlawful termination and false arrest, even after he was returned to work with back pay and cleared of all criminal charges and allegations of wrongdoing by two independent bodies. So who released Rolf from his off-duty job and why? Earlier Tuesday afternoon, the Atlanta Botanical Garden told Atlanta News First that it was the Atlanta Police Department's decision to reassign the officer. Shortly after, an APD spokesperson refuted that claim and said the department's standard operating procedure prohibits them from assigning or reassigning officers working off-duty jobs. And after I pressed the garden on the issue, they released an updated statement saying, quote, in this case, the garden did not request that the officer be released from duty, but to be reassigned to another location on the property. The officer declined. As you can tell, the Atlanta Botanical Garden clearly changed course on their statements. That being said, they also went on to say that they are appreciative for all that the off-duty officers do to keep their guests safe. Outside the Atlanta Botanical Garden, Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First.